Uh, versus Nair, yeah. Okay. Nair on your right. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, this kid has been doing it for, like, quite a long time already. I remember, like, his mom used to go to him with, uh, with him to the tournaments. Because, uh, uh, Nair? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's been a long time. Like, I don't think uh, he's a... Uh, He's gonna be bringing anybody to the tour tournament like that because he's having a little too much fun, you know what okay. I'm saying? But <laughs> all right, I, I mean, think I think generally in this matchup though, like you're yeah, you're yeah. you're uh, playing against Mar Mario as a character that I mean oh. does have some pretty good range, but like you have some pretty uh, like oh. long um, wait times for you know lag lag if you end up missing things. And wow, wow he's out there so so I feel yes. like I mean, Mario should have an easier time to stand in there and making things happen, but. Yeah, I guess the off-stage game, I didn't even think about that. Like, with really having multiple jumps and being able to put out super huge hitboxes, Mario might have a hard time getting back to the stage, too. Yeah. The so Nero, one of the pioneers of this character, for sure. I mean, not the only one. We have uh, plenty of uh, Ridley's all over the world. Mm -hmm. But uh, Nero, one of the proponents of that off-stage play that you were talking about, for sure. I mean, those Nero's are going to be coming out. Also, the first, as long-lasting hitboxes, uh, he's... Yeah, whenever he's playing hot, he always is going to be hitting those tilts by the ledge to get those two frames. And right now, things are looking pretty solid here for my man Snare. Yeah, I mean, one more straight hit. up. like Yeah, this. he's dead. Okay, I don't think you're, don't think you're making that one back. Nair's just going to put a couple fire. Oh, my! <laughs> yeah. Wanted it all. <laughs> I mean, he, he likes his style as well. Yeah. I told you he was having fun. Um, well, you know what? I like to see it. You know, that's <laughs> when you get, to, you get the best Twitter clips out there is when you... <laughs> when you're having fun on the game. But yeah, no, I mean, 120 now. This Mario has not really been able to play the game at all, really. If Kenny try to get the F smash out, now he's just getting poked. Another one. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go for it. You already knew it. And there, okay, not the tactics that he was looking for. Those four smashes. Also, I'm a bit surprised that he wasn't letting them rip a little bit earlier, but it seems like he finally deems it is a time for us to play that game. I mean, such a huge hitbox as well, so powerful. To drop some four smashes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very scary too. I feel like they they made that the sound design and just the the way that the move looks. Like even when it hits your shield, it's just like jeez. Like, I feel like yeah, I yeah. almost died there. <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> so wow, what easy first game right there for uh, Nair. Like that was a no waste of time. Yeah, making it look easier right there. I mean, he has been powered by Mazatlan. I mean, that guy. I, I don't think Nair has missed a single Masa by the way. I mean, definitely one of the opponents here, one of the Smashbox kids. Shadow suit Smashbox. Like I said, hype. Those guys are really, really chill, making the uh, well, switch strikes here to try to uh, help run this tournament as well. But Nair, right now, going to be the representative. Going to put yet again Mari here on those platforms. No, he's going to be put there himself. But those aerial traits so far not been working here for Venka. I mean, I have to say, uh, Ridley, definitely the size of those hitboxes is kind of big. Yeah, no, there's just a lot of space being covered here. But at the same time, you know, you're, you're Mario, you're the Drift King. Like, you just kind of jump through the air and drop in the air. And, like, anybody in that general vicinity is taking that hit. So yeah. uh, it's kind of hard to, to deal with that sometimes. But, you know, jump, uh, come out of shield with up airs, come out of shield with up Bs, anything really. And this time, uh, Ben actually going to take the first stock. Might have to, Nair might actually have to play some game. Like, all right, I can stop. I can stop messing around. Like, yeah, I mean, first stock taken right there. Oh no, jump in. Nair gonna try and cover that one. He went out there, not even gonna have to hit with uh, or connect or with the aerial to really impede Benka for making it back into the stage. Okay, the speed fire rush coming in. This is where you get to do your big damage. Oh, Nair actually overcommitted. I thought we were going to see the falling upper into the fair, as you were mentioning earlier, TK. Okay, but trap once again by the ledge. I think that's one of the things that is a bit overlooked uh, about uh, Ridley. Mm -hmm. Definitely those hitboxes by the ledge are very, very dangerous and scary to be dealing with. And that up B, though, you have to be extra careful, even though it's very abusable. If you have a counter or something like that, yeah. it can intercept it just because of the huge knockback. And Nair Trying to take it all right there. There's a little bit of startup time too, so it's like if you know it's coming and you have a if you have a character that has good recovery, you can also try to get beside it uh, and like back air it or something like that. Mm, yeah. uh, but you yeah, know, Ben, sure. Ben has been uh, just kind of standing at the ledge, maybe not realizing how big those, that hitbox is because it, it will go over ledge. It def that would have been a crazy oh. cape though. <laughs> that would have looked so silly. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just really flying the other way. Oh, man. Not what you want to see, but he caught the jump, I think. And one more committal. No, the up B's there. Also, one of the 
most famous clips that Nair really does have, I believe it was for Star Wizzy, mm -hmm. when he dunked him with that up B, one of the pioneers of setting up with that move. I mean, it's such a huge box that you were saying, TK. Yeah, and I, I like I like what we're, I mean, it's a good idea, too. You, I've seen Nair do it most, okay, we're, we're, we're headbanging on that shield. Nair's like, all right, let me stay away. <laughs> yeah. No shield coming out. I don't want it to be broken by Mario up smash, so. Oh, okay. A yeah. little too late, yeah. Not gonna happen. But the four tilts are also gonna come. I mean, Ridley does turn into a little bit of a sortie at this percent, mm -hmm. especially. And the fourth throw, okay. He's getting tossed right now. <laughs> Tries for it again, okay. Yeah, it, it, even if it doesn't hit though, it forces you off the ledge. It's either it, I hit you, uh, or you grab ledge and then I basically trump you right after that. Oh, so it's a very smart uh, idea that Nair is going for to be going for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> he got there it, it is. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> I mean, trying to, you know, get back to chilling. My man's on a path, uh, on a warpath, really. Two quick ones uh, coming out of Nair, showing what he's one of the most uh, dangerous players in the metropolitan area of Mexico. Definitely one of the better known players, I think, internationally. I believe that his uh, uh, first time to travel abroad was at Gobble. Maybe didn't do as hot as he was expecting, but he did mention that he was trying to. I do, yeah, I, I really definitely know his name. So, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. been, he's been out of Mexico and into some other spots for sure. Mm. Uh, and you know what, man, I'm glad to see that, uh, you know, him back here in Mexico and like, you know, how, how well he fares against the rest of the Mexican talent. Well, he's showing, I, I fare very well. Like we're in a 2-0 lead right now. Oh, for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, these games have not looked super close yet, but this is a great start here for Ben. Yeah, uh, now trying to make Nair look a little silly. Yeah, not gonna get the landing. Nair is still respecting that usually, usually, sorry, the platforms expertly to continue to deliver in the damage. Now finally we're playing the air to air with those back airs. And as a reaction, gonna work way better. Nair jumping wisely out of that. I love how Nair knows exactly where what Ben is trying to use as a closer, not falling for those classic Mario baits on shield. And so that is gonna allow him to stay alive for a little bit longer. Nair does commit and yet again gonna go off stage and make it making it look this way. Okay, wow. Yeah, dude, yeah, the, the down air to out of uh, shield is going to hit, but like not enough to the stock. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a good back air, though. Uh, very opportune, too. Uh, the side B, going to put Nair so close to the ledge. Easy uh, cleanup there for Ben to go ahead and take that. But now, getting pushed around the stage again, like the cape for the stall, though. Yeah, I think the Nair definitely read that jump for sure, was ready for the punish, and the cape is saving Ben's life for just a little bit longer. That's gonna be a little bit of extra damage. Oh, the fireball by the air. That is the Mario Classic and one that every single top player is gonna be ready to cover. And of course, Nair being no exception to that. Making it out of the ledge yet again. Okay, no jump. Oh, he tries to come in with a space pirate rush and not gonna get it, but yet again out. Excellent turn. How did that backer hit like that? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that back air. Well, I, I don't know how he got that back air. Oh, he tried it. <laughs> tried it, but yeah, a little too high up on the damage to go for the uh, up air forward airs. Mm. Oh, the drag down? I didn't know they had those, but okay. Nair still going to be hanging. It, jumping every single time, by the way. I hope that Banka starts catching up to that. Maybe throw out some downers, some backers by the ledge. The off smash, though, will do the trick. And this time looking much more solid than last time around. I mean, it did take them two games, but... I mean, sometimes it's all about learning experience, and uh, Benka definitely showing up a little bit more of that in this uh, third game. You were definitely correct about like the way that uh, really is becoming more of a sword here, like the, the spacing on using these yeah. uh, down tilts and fares. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of like a lot of run back, uh, you know, uh, F tilt, sorry, you know, and yes. in, in fares and things like that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. oh. Yeah, couldn't couldn't pull that one all the way up. That would have been crazy. Turning that around on that platform might have actually led to potentially a, like a scary up B situation oh, to sure. take off the top and steal this game. Oh, and yeah. And yeah, the tail gonna come out one last time to close out the set in there. Well, he did slow down a bit. I mean, some meditation coming in from Benka by the very end, but not fast enough. Unfortunately, though, still a great showing. And uh, well, yeah, Nair. Looking to ramp up the action to for today. I mean, he's going to continue to do. He's been partying it out, but now it's all about business here. And, well, he uh, definitely is uh, looking hot on the sticks this time around. I know that he is a player that has been, like, hot and cold with the game. You know, he's had some periods in which uh, maybe he's not feeling it 
uh, quite as much, but maybe now after that experience on Gommel, uh, traveling abroad, just trying to focus on Ultimate a little bit more. Okay. No more Genshin for him, I guess. Oh no! Yeah, he's <laughs> put the wallet away. He put the wallet away. He's back to back on the uh, the GameCube controller to go ahead and practice up. We actually got a chance to. I haven't played uh, Ultimate in a, in a while too, because I almost never play on, on online. Got a chance to play, you know, in the in a little VIP area though. So yeah. nice. Feels good again. I don't really have a main anymore, unfortunately though, because <laughs> I've just been bouncing around, played some Sheik, played some Marth. So we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, we're back. Delfino Maza 2023. That was our second match of our block. Probably got like three to four more for you uh, yeah. here in this block for sure. But I uh, just gotta wait and see who we got uh, coming up next. Don't see anybody on the stage, but yeah. Yeah, I believe uh, Ken was also on this wave. Who else? Shiny Mark, if I am Ooh. not mistaken. So we might get to see some of those matches as well. I hope you guys at home.